Hi all, it's, it's the end of July 2018 and here's my Volkswagen camper, a 1963 EZ camper that I'm um, planning on selling. It's advertised on the Samba. It's, in, it's located in Dorset and it's up for 21,000. So here's the bus. So I've owned it for about four years. Um, I was the first owner in the United Kingdom. So it's a cool bus. You can see it has a bit of paint on it. So it's had the left outer sill, the right outer sill under the doors and the right hand side battery tray um, and that's all the welding that's had done on it, it doesn't require anything else so you've got the original sort of turquoise paint here of course when it came from America it had these mirrors on as well as the W ones I guess maybe some sort of law expect for touring, touring around but yeah really really solid windscreens in terms of the metal work underneath here of course that's been repainted there I've, Obviously taking the windscreens out, put Schofield, brand new Schofields in and obviously touched up the paint to make sure it's spot on because that's obviously an area you want to protect. Comes with the seal beam headlights, all sort of US spec items. Obviously all the overrides, original bumpers, original wheels with um, the right tyres on. Obviously there's tons of grip on that, done sort of minimal miles for the last four years. Black panels per original spec. Uh, black floor mats got the dial there which, which is just um sort of bolted into so nothing's being drilled for that so you can you could unclamp it if you want to but obviously it's incredibly useful when you want to sort of tune engine and see what you're running and if you have, if you have the music on you've got the you know driving down the road you want to sort of know what revs you're ticking over at so that's all useful stuff that's not that's not being wired in at all but that's how it came from america um, it's got, obviously it has the warning lights which work just on the rear on this because it's American American spec. Got the church key there. Um, you've got this is obviously all the sort of original holes I should say, but um, I, I didn't see any point in replacing this whole panel just for those. And as it's not an MOT issue in any manner, it's all it's all fine underneath. It's been it's all totally clean underneath that under the panel, all being clear wax oiled. So that's that there. You've got a little bit on the same side there, but literally nothing major. Not worth doing anything about because honestly, it's original metal, so a bit of a waste really to do it otherwise. The grey TMI covers, which look lovely. Um, this is the only issue really with the bus, I would say, is that the previous owner in, in, um, in the US cut this out, presumably to make a walkthrough, and maybe realised it didn't work, so spot welded the, the, the original panel back in. So it's all completely solid, but that is an area there. Of course, you you could um, do if you wanted to. There's no spare wheel. Um, didn't come with one. And as I only really take down the beach and like occasionally camping, maybe sort of once to twice maximum per year, I just didn't bother, you know. But I mean, I do have a, a beetle, uh, a nice clean beetle rim, 15 inch though that it, it can go with it. So that's that. So that's cool. Got the seat belts mounted as well on there, which is all good. This is part of the interior. So we've got the um. The Z bed, so that bed there just pulls out underneath and nice and flat to give you a nice sort of double bed there, which is excellent. Nice comfy cushions, sort of firm but, but decent. Rear seat belts as well for the children. Um, original uh, wood lining, original cupboard at the back there. These pots here I've copied, so I've kept as much original as I can, but I had to copy it because basically it was just sort of too rotten and family didn't really want to sort of sleep in here with rotten, sort of scabby old wood. So, yes. That's been things that have been remade. The panel down the side has been remade. Bits like that with the, the trim on that's original, and that's been remade but again copied from what what was in there. Which, so that's nice. Um, didn't come with a spice rack, so um, I made that. But again, I I copy pictures off the internet, so that's to be sort of close to how it how it, it would it might have come with. Um, all the doors work all good. All locks and stuff. The, the seals on all this are all pretty old you know um i don't take it out when it's when it's raining so it's not a problem for me we get a bit of a bit of rattle here where the seals are deteriorated but again i haven't done anything about the seals ever apart from the front ones actually and the rear seal got the nice uh, louvered windows all work spot on i sort of polished these up you know a, a few years back give them a bit of a clean but they all work fine they've also got the fly screens which obviously aren't there now but have got the fly screen frames but the actual mesh was pretty pretty manky so i, was, I never fitted those Cool. All the detail, the patina, nice roof. I sort of wax the roof just once a year with wax oil. A bit dusty at the moment. I've just been doing a bit of DIY. 
Uh, not obviously got the early boot lid, uh, the early uh, rear lid. Got some nice curtains the wife made, which are pretty cool. I mean, these do suit it. And obviously, you know, it gives it, it gives it sort of a bit of a lady's touch, you know. Got a nice sort of cupboard there for storing stuff. Um, so underneath there, it's original sort of grey paint, which the panel bound it would have came in on the inside as well as. So everything would have been in, would have been grey on the inside, and then of course the turquoise on the outside. That's pretty sweet, good area there. Um, and then you've got the engine, so you've got the 1200 engine, it's a 1964 engine, I think I think it was on this one. You've got the number there, which is D028500XR, so you can check it out. But yeah, 1200 spec engine. Um, I did have the Porsche 356 engine, hence why there's a hole there and two holes there for the tailpipes for the Porsche motor. Um, you know, obviously you, you could uh, weld, weld, weld it up or leave it, put a sticker or something or a sign or or whatever, but that's that. Got an original pea shooter underneath there. I'm talking of 356 engines. There is the engine that, that was in it. That's a dual, the dual pipes, if you can see those in the sun today. Cool, so underneath it's really, really solid. I don't know how how well that will look underneath there but it's mostly original paint all been clear wax oiled so nothing is hidden and so there's been no um no welding underneath there so really nice all the heater tubes etc good suspension good brakes redid all the brakes of course um it's the engine there's j tubes on the engine because the original uh covers were all just knackered on all manky so just took it off. I have got most of the bits of the heaters left over if you if you happen to want them, but I just obviously just took out the pipe and put put that back on there. But yeah, it doesn't um it doesn't drip any oil. It's a, it's a bit damp, a little bit damp, but doesn't actually drip any oil. The gearbox is very similar. It's a little bit damp, but doesn't seem to drip anything. So that's good. Um, I've obviously re topped up the reduction gearboxes, of course, every every year pretty much when I check the gearbox oil. It's on the side down there. So this is the character. That's the battery tray that's put in just down there. And all professionally welded in. Some detail there for America. Look at that detail. We used to have, of course, the um the plastic covers on to scoop the air in, where it's out proper proper camper in America. We've got more side windows, all solid down there, nice doors, no welding um required apart from say that front panel in here if you want to do it, of course. That is literally the worst thing. It's solid. I planned on actually putting a, um, a nice sort of cover, a wooden cover over there, you know, and then trimming it out, but just never got around to it, you know. Um, I've got the table here, which I wouldn't mind keeping the actual table because it's got a sort of personalised message on the front here. But um, of course, the new owner, if they want it, of course they can have it. But ideally, I would just give them all the table leg and the attachments. Then you guys can make your own table up pretty swiftly, if, if possible. Because you wouldn't really want that. It's got you no know, thing for my wife on there. So, um, original cut. Well, sorry, a reproduction of the original cupboard underneath. Plenty of storage in there. Same for there. Nice mirror unit got in there. You've got enough room for it. basically there's loads of camping chairs. That sort of stuff you can store in there. It's quite deep. Obviously you've got all this, which is all pretty good. Go around to the front there. Yep, yeah, battery tray. Nice area for resting your feet on. All the fuel gauge, all the lights, everything, everything works. So all the items up here, of course, work. All the interior lights, everything works as it should do. Uh, I've also, as you can see in the corners there, metal brackets. I've also now just remembered, I've actually got the um, a, a, a um, sort of a bed that cl sort of clips on there for, for children to use. Or, or when you're camping in here, you can also put your stuff on it. But... We used it for the kids for like about a year and after that they wanted to sleep, you know, in the, in the van and I had the awning, so uh, in the end we just ended up to put our, our storage and bags on top of there. But yeah, there we go, but it drives extremely well, it's all, it's all stock, wet stock height, stock steering, stock suspension, it just drives lovely, nice and straight down the road, it's not very quick. I only do about sort of 60 miles per hour, if you hit a hill, yeah, you're going to slow down definitely, but it will make it up the hill. Ticks over nice, runs nicely. Um, I say I've only used it a number, handful of times this year and a handful of times last year. And it's always been kept um, dry in here. So never really sees rain unless I'm out camping and it happens to rain, which isn't very often. So no, I went camping once last year. <laughs> and there we are. 
That is it, 1963 EZ bus, or easy camper. And let's say it's up for sale at the moment. It looks pretty, pretty cool. It's down here. It's all there. There we are. That is the bus. Hopefully you'll find the new owner, nice new owner. Cool, if you're interested, let us know.